Thank you. And I'm really honored to be here. I am thinking, wow, did you think this day would ever come? <laughs> I am so excited. And what a beautiful day it turned out to be. The, 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 everything aligned and we're, and we're here. You know, I just came back from a, a seminar, uh, spent several days talking about climate change. And that was such a downer compared to this <laughs> that I am really excited to see this and how this, you know, this whole ecosystem is so important and how you're going to be able to do this for the future generations as, as well as today. And, you know, it, it's kind of like um, democracy. We really have to work at it. And we're going to have to work, you know, to make sure that this, this continues, that it's taken over and it, but, and it, and it goes along. But I remember back in uh, 2003, I think, was and then the mural was built in the library yeah. to show how this was and people came and, and really saw what can actually be accomplished and pretty soon they're going to see what is accomplished and I think it's a tribute to all of you from Mayor McLaughlin to the Army Corps of Engineers who I've spent a lot of time with on various projects uh, to the Forest Preserve and the Audubon Society and particularly the volunteers. I think this shows that volunteerism is really alive in Orland Park and how important it is for a community. And I, I really uh, applaud all of you. I don't have too much more to say except that uh, for my part to get funding is always very interesting. And you hear a lot about earmarks and they're painted as really bad things that, that we do. And when we go and ask for money, I'm here to tell you, they are really good things, aren't they? <laughs> as long as we really spend the time and make sure that, you know, it's something that the community needs and, and not just wants, but really needs. And I think that this is, this is something that would, if you let it go to waste, would have been just a tragedy. So. What we do is we go to appropriators. Appropriators in Congress are the, the people that decide on funding. You know, I'm, a, I'm an authorizer, so I authorize things. But once we get authorized, we can't do anything until it's appropriated. So we write, first of all, we write the, what the project is. And then we send it to the appropriators with a letter. And then you find either find the appropriators on the House floor and sit them down and say, you know, this is how important this is and everything. And if that doesn't work, then you beg. <laughs> <laughs> and not on knees, but you do beg. <laughs> and then, if that doesn't work, you cry. <laughs> now that usually works, but I didn't even have to do that with this project because people really realize the importance of it. So. Uh, you know, the, a project really stands on, it, on its own and on the community that, that is behind it and, and all the, the volunteers and all the work the Forest Preserve that goes into it. So my other project is the Asian Carp, and I'm working a lot on that, too, and the permanent barrier just opened. So that's exciting, too. So we will always look. Those are those invasive species that want to get into these areas and into our waterways and how important it, it is to protect all of our uh, all of our lands from from those pesky uh, invasive species. But I'm really happy to be here, and thank you so much for having me. And, and let's move on. To